So we're seeing increased mask wearing in public, which is great, but there's also some improper mask wearing going on. Remember that the purpose of a mask is to reduce the transmission of the respiratory droplets from the wearer to others. Um, what we notice is that sometimes you'll see people who wear a mask just over their mouth. For masking to be effective, it has to cover both the nose and the mouth and be tightly fitting around the whole perimeter. When we sample people to see if they're positive for virus, one of the sites that we sample is the nasal cavity. So that really gives evidence that the virus is present in those nasal passages. A really interesting recent study examined um, a series of potential infection events in a hair salon. So two stylists in the salon were COVID positive and also exhibiting symptoms. They were also wearing masks and so were all of their clients. These two stylists saw 139 clients over the period of their illness. And interestingly, um, not one of those 139 people showed symptoms. 67 per of the people, um, the clients, wanted to get a test anyway and sought a test, and they turned out to be COVID negative. Um, and this is despite one of the stylists uh, transmitting to a number of members in her family in the home environment. So it really suggests how important and how powerful wearing a mask can be, particularly indoors when you're having contact with others. Mm -hmm.